been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, you have much to catch up on. Nearly five years ago, we sold our goat farm in Victoria to hit the road in a truck and caravan. After four years of exploring Australia, we have changed course a little, selling our caravan and buying a 48 foot yacht. Exploring overland is still a priority in our truck, but now we are adding the sea to our adventures. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we don't know how to sail. Good morning, everyone. I've just realized something, and it's not the best. When I was walking down to our yacht, I saw that our wind speed indicator, which is right up on top of the mast, it'll be very hard for you to see, is no longer turning. Everybody else's is turning just fine in the wind, but ours is not turning at all. A few weeks ago, I saw that the wind speed I thought was lower than what it should have been. So that'll be the reason. It's obviously got an issue up there. And well, there's only one way to fix that, which is I've got to go up and take it down and have a look. Caddy won't be happy. Two steps forward, one step back, hey? Eh? But anyway, we're getting there. So I'll let her know that I've got to go up the mast. She's got to winch me up. <laughs> and she doesn't like that, I can tell you. Anyway, we'll let her know. Let's just check the wind speed itself in the unit. I've just turned it on. Direction's working, but wind speed says zero. It's definitely not working. Let's tell Caddy. Your ass is hanging out. <laughs> oh, Catherine. Yeah. There's good things and bad things. And boat things, yeah. Oh, boat things are always bad. But the weather's nice, that's the good thing. <laughs> what have you found? Our wind speed indicator is no longer working. For some reason, I'm going to have to go up the top of the mast and have a look. Didn't they replace that? No, no, that was the, the wind direction. Different, different thing. So, I have to go up the mast and have a look at that. I have to lift you up the mast. Yeah, it's good for you. It's like a gym workout at that you don't have to pay membership. And you got lots of incentive to do it right because you let go and then I fall down. But maybe that's incentive for both ways. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm not doing it today, I'm cleaning today. Ah, we'll get up there. <laughs> Well, good morning everyone. We're up the top of the mast, the main mast, because our wind indicator, as I said yesterday, or earlier, wasn't working. And it's still not. It's got issues, so I'm gonna have to pull it down and we'll have a look at it. Maybe new one, maybe we can loop it up. But anyway, while I'm up here, check out the view. in my chair, double harnessed with the safety, should be safe, hopefully, as long as Catherine doesn't let me go, because it's a long way down, look at it, Well, that's it, we can go down. And we'll see what's wrong with it down the bottom. Everything else looks okay, as far as I can see.
You may think this looks like a normal product promotion like any other, but it's not. Hang around and I'll explain the reason why. Since we have been traveling through Western Australia and Queensland particularly, the hot weather and the fire bans have prevented us from having our normal cooking fires. So for the last year or so, we have been looking for an alternative cooking method. A lot of people have those little fold up barbecues, but you still have an open flame and it can be considered an open fire and so on. So we were looking for something a little bit different. I stumbled across the Cobb website while researching for some alternative cooker. And wow, I thought this looks great. We can use it in the truck and we can use it on the boat. But more importantly, it doesn't get hot at all on the base and you can move it around while it's going. So if it happens to rain or the wind happens to shift, you can just pick it up and put it somewhere else so the smoke's not blowing into your camp or into your open boat. I'm excited about it. Oh yeah, I've just put my first roast veggies on. Then I'm putting the grill on and when it's time, T-bone and maybe a few green beans, just lightly fried up. Oh, it's warm. Sizzling. I was all set on parting with our hard-earned cash for one of these, but then I thought, what the oh, hell? Yeah. Why don't I just contact Cobb and see whether they'd like to provide one for us? And guess what? They're onto it. And they did. My T-bone steak that's been peppered and salted. Stick that sucker on. Our agreement with Cobb was there was no strings attached whatsoever. So we've been using it now for several months and I can tell you I love it. We have been using either their cobblestone supplied and formed briquettes or natural charcoal. And both work well, the charcoal burns for much longer and is a cheaper alternative. And it works great. Oh my gosh, for my first go on the Cobb, I am super impressed. Some things a little overcooked. I did a few things a little bit wrong, but we'll work on that next time. And I am keen to eat it. It looks good. For sure. Wow, so good. And easy. And the briquettes are still going. They'd be going for hours. But anyway, let's eat. By the way, the proof's in the pudding. Have a look at the pictures, have a beer, and you can just cook an awesome meal while sitting around your cob. You gotta love it. And as a bonus, when you finish cooking for the night and you've got the red hot coals there, you can chuck on rosemary and whatever other herbs to ward off the midges and the mozzies that are flying around your camp area. Double bonus. Just to give everyone an idea of how long the cob lasts with Australian Gigi charcoal, this has now been burning on the original fill for four hours. So it still has got plenty of cooking heat in that, plenty, plenty of heat. You could probably cook a steak on that if you put the hot plate on. So after four hours, it is still going. I'd say it's probably got another, what, 40 minutes left in it and then it'll be done but without adding anything four hours worth of cooking that is incredible and check out our new party lights they are crazy okay you can do about a hundred different functions with them from everything every color everything so what do you think of them i love them <laughs> cheers cheers <laughs> But anyway, our food turned out great. The steak was a little bit too overdone, so I've got to cook that a bit quicker because it's quite thin, but I will work it out. I love that black sticky shit. I hate it. Boy, I 
lot. So I installed the new hatch, but I am not going to put the trim on or anything until we've had some big rainstorms or I've hosed it plenty to make sure that we don't have any leaks. Because I don't want to put the trim on and then find out there's some leak somewhere and have to remove it and try and track it down. So, it's very clear. It's 12 mil thick, ocean rated hatch. So it is a good quality hatch. Uh, probably better than the other ones we've got. And it needed to be anyway because it's on the bow. So, we should all be good now. Look at that. Whew. That's a good way to spend a pretty penny, that's for sure, hey? But, no leaks, lovely seal, so on. Looks good. All through bolted. I wanted to through bolt it instead of screwing it to the deck. You can screw it to the deck or through bolt it. And I chose to through bolt it because I wanted it tough. So, I'm happy. All done. And it's cranking hot in here, so I'm going to have a beer. I finally got some new bearings for our anemometer, our wind speed unit. So the old bearings were crunchy and no good at all, and that's the reason why it wasn't turning. So I've ordered some new ones, and they cost a bomb for what they are, but that doesn't matter. The main thing is that I've got them, they fit, and we can fix this so you know what i mean for 50 bucks worth of bearings or 60 including freight at least we can fix our thousand dollar unit for 60 bucks so i'm happy with that that's for sure and all we need to do is put new bearings in how good is that i've got two spare because there was so much freight i figured i might as well just get two spare hey Hopefully, it should just go together. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Oh, much better. All done. Now we just need to get back up the mast and put it back up and test it. And we're done. He's gearing up again, folks. To put this back. Okay. sit for a minute. What? I have to sit for a minute. Well, I'm back up the mast. Just reinstalled our wind speed and it's blowing a gale today. Boats rocking around crazy. I'd hate to be up here when it's crazy rough. My helper's down there. Enjoying the sun. Nothing. Just talking about you, not to you. Okay. All working. We'll go back down. Do you want to just check that it's got a readout? Should be high, like 15. 17. 17 knots. No wonder it's windy. Well, after installing the wind transducer back up the top, I'm very happy to say that it's working well. Okay. Happy about that anyway. Tick. Another job done. 
and saved ourselves a thousand bucks at least by fixing it ourselves, which is great because we couldn't afford another thousand bucks or nothing. Anyway, 